hello everyone. So basically I've decided to build a yurt in my living room. It was kind of a spontaneous thing. I was in the, in the, uh, what you call it, like the construction market. And I, I walked past the wood just to see. I got inspired because a colleague of mine just moved uh, into, uh, or was already living into a yurt, but I just saw it. It's like, oh, it's so amazing. So uh, I saw and I saw the wood was really cheap. So I so, thought, well, not? Watch some videos on YouTube and um, read some uh, read some stuff online. And uh, then I uh, just started building. And here we are. This is the ones I'm using for the frame, uh, for the walls. Um, they are... This is the measurements, 24 times 48 times 2000 millimeters. It's quite thick, but uh, it's an easy length. Most important for me was the price. It's really cheap. Then I'll just take a look at, these are packs of 10, so quite easy to, to carry. Just look at the round, see as best as I can. If there's like nodes and like breakings and rips and whatnot. Try to choose the best looking package and uh, then I'll take it home on my bicycle. Would you look at that? It's a nice fresh zucchini. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is how I measure my length. So um, I just need to cut to drill for more. So I just put already drilled uh, planks over them as a uh, measurement. But I would use this guy, uh, lay it out from, from, e from there to here. I marked the first one, well I started from here at eight centimeters. Then there's a 30 centimeter gap between all um, all the holes and I would just use this as a straight and mark a line which I have to drill. I forgot to mention before that down here you really need to make sure that it's straight of course because otherwise uh, you will get holes in all different places so make sure this is straight and this is straight and uh, let's just uh, drill some holes I use sea salt because I'm. Uh, I want to use only uh, natural friendly materials. So I take some some painters tape. Okay, the glue is probably not environmental friendly, but the tape's made out of paper. So and then I take a decent amount of rope. Got it. Tie my figure eight. So this is how you make an eight knot. You go under, over, and in. So you got this little A thing. You pull, pull it tight. <laughs> That's all. It's really a straightforward nut. Here we have the wall and the construction. Um, as you can see, I put the front sixth lengths on already. So I use uh, six lengths on each uh, side. As you can see how the knots are. 
it's quite straightforward. You put first to first, second to second, always crossed, third to third. And now I'll show you how how to attach them. This is the back the back one. Pull, pull the rope through. There we go. This you see how useful it is to make a needle. Just pull it through. Really tight. And you tie a knot like this one and you tie another eight knot like so under over through Oop, pull it tight zoop, zoop. Oh. and you pull it tight and you cut it Now I need to cut uh, these four to length and according to my model it's going to be five holes. This is the one starting from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll uh, measure out the middle between these two holes which is 15. Let's uh, make a line. Same on the other one. Eight. Yep. And uh, this might be the really nice saw. It's a uh, Japanese hand saw is really really nice to use. I love it. After all that cutting, it's time to put these uh, together. The last bit of this uh, huge wall. And here we go, this is two walls together. These are the, I'll just walk past it, uh, the connection points. 
yeah you see they kind of like hook into one another uh, on the previous ones I did add uh, a piece of wood here but I don't know if it's really necessary so you can always add it on so yes this is two walls and I have made uh, four now and now I want to start with the door piece and piece it all together and then well, can see if the diameter is to my satisfaction and then I can always make another wall.